How do you plan to balance the city's need for economic development with its need to keep its natural beauty and its neighborhood feel? That's a, that's a great question. And I think uh, continued growth of the, of the arts and, and, um, and the creative economy are one way to do that in a very, very um, green and friendly way. But part of the economic development plan that I want to put forward would do just that. We want to look for small businesses, green initiatives, technologies, uh, related small manufacturing industries, light manufacturing that would reflect again what is so important to our President of the United States and to our Governor, uh, the green initiatives that are going on um, uh, around this country and in this state. I think the thing though is that right now it's kind of one of those dead zones where you have, you have no money to spend but you have so much time to think. And when I look out into the audience, which I can barely see, there's, a, there's so much talent and there's so much energy in the audience and there's so much energy in this community and there's so many people that want to help this community and stimulate this community so we can grow. The next two years, I think, are the perfect time for us to put together a great plan so as we move out of this economy, we're on that first wave rolling out and, and trying to find things that could come our way. What, yeah. 30 or? Yeah. Um, well, Dick, you didn't answer the question. How are you going to do it? I know we have great talent in this community, and many of them come to me with ideas all the time. In fact, you know, even, even the ones I don't care for, I, uh, uh, we work with them and, uh, and, and we get things done. But I would, um, I would challenge anybody to come forward and say that we rejected an idea not based upon it being solid. And we have done this, whether it's uh, Eric Rudd, who's supporting your candidacy, uh, came to us with the idea of changing the Eclipse Mill, mills into work, artisan workspaces. We took that, and you, I think you were on the council at the time, we ushered it through to change that uh, legislation which would allow a, a new type of industry to come to the city of North Adams. We worked with them. We work with everybody that comes in. I'm working with a, with a young parent who supports your candidacy again to help build a, a, um, a, a playground at Brayton. It doesn't matter who they're supporting, Dick, it never did. And for you to imply that is, is wrong, you know? And, and, you know and, and we work with them all the time. We don't, we, you know, and, and I've cited some examples, and, uh, you know, if you have other ones, so be it. But. Thirty seconds, Councilor, if you'd like. Yeah, I, you know, I, I guess all I can say to that, Mayor, is if, if half the stories I hear are half true about people coming into your office with ideas, including me, then, then I, I don't feel as though people are well received in this community as far as their ideas are concerned. <laughs>